Action! Now do it again one more time. I can't learn like this. It's like you're a conquistador and you're conquering my education and my mind. I need to co-create my education. Why can't education be liberating? Ah! <laughs> Did someone say liberation through education? <gasps> it's Paolo Freire! Freire! <laughs> that is right! It is I, Paolo Freire! Brazilian educator, ha ha ha, and author of Pedagogy of the Oppressed. Yes, my friend, freedom is acquired by conquest, not by gift. It must be pursued constantly and responsibly. Freedom is not an ideal located outside of man, nor is it an idea which becomes a myth. It is rather the indispensable condition for the quest of human completion. Yes, <laughs> freedom is the result of praxis, the informed action when a balance between theory and practice is achieved. Yay! Uh -huh. I would suggest that populist dialogue is a necessity to revolution that impeding dialogue dehumanizes and supports the status quo. So, is the teacher a colonizer, a conquistador, or a co-human? Computers and the online world, are they something to receive or co-create? Distance learning allows learners to access a worldwide community of fellow learners and educational resources it is now possible, through technology, learners to co-create and construct their own education with the help of populist dialogue and humanizing connectivity that transcends status quo borders and structures. One example of a distance learning resource which promotes connectivity and learning through interaction is Kiva. Let's go look. Come on. So, this website is called Kiva. And on this website, classrooms and learners can connect with people in other countries and provide them a micro loan to start a business or help them in some way. And through this, they are making a human to human empathetic connection using distance learning to bring people together. Now, here we see a website based on a project been mapping open educational resources all over the world being headed up by Athabasca University. Ah, now this is a wonderful thing and people from all over the world are involved from Africa, from South America, from Europe, North America, everywhere and people are working together to make open educational resources available to everyone for free all over the world. It is a wonderful project and another example of how distance learning is helping to liberate people by collaborating on their own education. Yes. Okay, now let's try that again, this time using Praxis. Yes, my fellow learner, share with me what you have constructed and co-created through access to open educational resources. Yay! 